Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from Into Mobile. We're taking a look at the BlackBerry Torch 9850. Uh, That's the CDMA version of the new all touch screen BlackBerry. It's not the Storm, although, you know, we all kind of know it is. Uh, it's got a 3.7 inch 800 by 480 touch screen on here. It doesn't click if you're worried at all about that. Uh, as you can see, it, uh, it operates fairly smoothly here. That is thanks to a new 1.2 gigahertz processor that's RIM in, that RIM is including in all of their latest ha uh, handsets. It also has 768 megabytes of RAM. It's a very slim device. Uh, we got a micro USB port on the side there. We've got a single lock key up top. We've got on the side here, uh, you can barely see them. Uh, there's, a, there's a volume rocker here, as well as a uh, mute pause play key uh, smooshed in between there, just a little raised bump. And then uh, there's a camera key down here. It's, uh, it's very, very slim, uh, but it's there for sure. Five megapixel camera on the back with LED flash. It's capable of shooting 720p video recording. And unlike the Bold 9900, it's got autofocus, so you can actually take uh, close-up pictures, which is uh, pretty handy. So, uh, of course, uh, BlackBerry is generally very well known for their keyboards and emailing, so uh, we can uh, dive right in here to the email application, or the messages, rather. Uh, we get stuff from Facebook, and uh, Gmail conversations are threaded all within uh, one thing here. Uh, you can also get an instant messaging clients uh, uh, with their uh, notifications here, Gtalk, AIM, all that stuff. I'll show you the uh, the virtual keyboard on here. It's a little bit different from uh, what we've seen on uh, on other touchscreen Blackberries, like uh, the original Torch 9800. Uh, it's got a bar at the top here, so you can hide the keyboard really quickly. Traditionally, you had to hit the menu key and then go show keyboard up here, a little clunky. So that's nice on the one hand, but on the other, it's very close to that top row. So if you if you're typing a little bit too high, then uh, you'll accidentally hide your keyboard. That's that's happened to me more than once. So uh, I'll just show you how how uh, responsive the keyboard is here. It is. Should all be auto correcting. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. And now I'm in the middle of my phrase here, so uh, I, I was legitimately trying not to do that. But uh, we could try it in uh, landscape here. Okay, so yeah, I got that without any mistakes, right on. Uh, so uh, it's a it, it's a decent keyboard, you know. I've I, I, I was definitely getting a little frustrated with it. it. It can be finicky where you have to kind of go over what, what you wrote again just to make sure that it's all right and proper. Uh, there's some things about the keyboard that I just don't really get, like the, the, the this icon is for changing languages on the keyboard. Uh, so I, I have no idea why I would want to be changing language mid-sentence here. You know, that, that screen real estate could be used for uh, much more useful things. So uh, the big 3.7 screen can be used for a lot of other stuff aside from emailing. Uh, it's uh, great for the browser. Uh, that's my, my Google Reader. It's all touch optimized, but we can pull up uh, into mobile and see, uh, see how it's looking here. Whoa, whoa. see. That keyboard, man, it is moody. There we go, into mobile.com. Right now I am roaming on EVDO in Canada, so uh, still 3G. Uh, the GSM version, I believe, is gonna be HSPA plus capable, so that's, uh, that's all right. Uh, the browser has been revamped along with the whole rendering engine, so pinch to zoom in here is really good. Uh, there we go. Very sharp, very easy to read, and the big screen makes makes it all pretty uh, pretty fluid. Uh, no flash support in the browser, unfortunately, so uh, that's that's one thing that we won't be seeing here. But uh, RIM is due to launch new uh, QNX-based phones early next year, which I would hope would have flash support. And the uh, the playbook has it, so I think it's it's a safe assumption to make. So the big 3.7 inch touch screen on the uh, BlackBerry Torch 9850 and 60 are also pretty good for watching videos. Uh, I've tested it out here with a 720p 
uh, episode of Dignation. It's WMP format. And uh, this week's episode of coming up pretty is sharp. By Band of Buds, Jack Threads, GoDaddy, and Kevin's Worm Farm. Oh, let's try. Here. There Kevin? we go. One every seven times. So there we go. Uh, that's video running on there, and uh, the uh, the BlackBerry Torch also comes along with a podcast application, so you can subscribe to both audio and video podcasts and have them download directly on your device. Another new feature that we're seeing in a lot of the new uh, OS 7 Blackberries is uh, augmented reality. Uh, it's something that we've seen in. Uh, other devices, uh, other smartphones out there. Basically, it uses a magnetic compass inside the phone to figure out uh, which direction you're facing, and it uses the GPS to figure out where you are and it places points, points of interest around you. So to pull up the uh, the preloaded Wikitude app, I'll uh, jump into Universal Search here, and uh, it actually includes voice-activated search now. So Wikitude is kind of a weird word, but we'll see if it recognizes it. Wikitude. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the uh, voice activated search because uh, you have to hit done and uh, mo most of the time when you're doing hands free stuff when voice would be useful. Uh, oh, it, it, it pulled that up as you, with you too. Nice try though, that's, that's, that's the little search engine that couldn't. But uh, we can try pulling up Wikitude here. But uh, there we go, Wikitude. Um, so yeah, like when, when you're using voice commands, generally speaking, you don't want to have to fiddle around with your phone. So at this point, it's mostly just a novelty. Uh, Wikitude is actually kind of cool, though, if you're uh, looking at a kind of new area that you're not really familiar with. We'll pull up a Wiki Wikipedia here. Uh, first things first, it'll ask us to calibrate, and it, in my experience with, with Wikitude on here, it'll uh, it'll ask us to do this funky little maneuver. You do a figure eight with the phone so that it can figure out which side is up and which side is down and then it vibrates when it's done and uh, now it can start pulling up points of interest uh, within our neighborhood here you, you can set it to only show stuff within a certain radius so your display isn't really overloaded with, uh, with stuff but this is what I was talking about earlier there's still some hourglassing so it's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate because you'd expect that to be all gone at this point so, uh, Wikitude will pull up stuff here live as we tilt the phone. You can see what's out, and there we go. We get uh, the calibration thing again. So, it's uh, it, it, I found it a little finicky. Uh, i and w w Wikitude's interesting, but it's not something that I'm going to, I'm going to be relying on on a daily basis. So uh, that's just a quick look at the BlackBerry Torch 9850. Uh, there's going to be very little difference with the GSM version, so uh, feel free to swing by intomobile.com to check out our full review.